This is a simulation of the human heart that has been performed by a supercomputer. We broke down the heart into 170,000 little tetrahedrons and modeled it, combining various pieces of knowledge from physics, engineering, medicine, and physiology under a method known as the finite element method. Let's slow down its movement and take a closer look. This model calculates the heart's movement and even other details such as energy consumption at each part of the heart. Furthermore, it takes into consideration not only the heart's surface, but also the variation in the thickness of the cardiac muscle and inner structure. Now, let's look at the heart's inner structure. The heart is composed of the right heart and the left heart. The right heart is made up of the right atrium and the right ventricle and connects to the pulmonary artery, while the left heart is made up of the left atrium and the left ventricle and connects to the aorta. The heart has flaps to prevent blood from flowing backwards. In between the left atrium and ventricle is the mitral valve. And in between the left ventricle and aorta is the aortic valve. The simulation calculates the intricate flow of blood and the movement of the valves that work together. This coupled system can be seen from various angles. Blood receives oxygen from the lungs, flows through the pulmonary vein to the heart and into the left atrium. What you are seeing now is the mitral valve. Behind this valve is the left ventricle, and here the blood flow turns 180 degrees towards the aortic valve. The blood strongly pushed out by the left ventricle passes the aortic valve through the aorta to the whole body and carries oxygen and nutrients throughout. Blood pressure can also be calculated under the simulation. In general, what is known as blood pressure is the pressure of the aorta. When graphed, blood pressure is highest when the heart contracts and is lowest when it relaxes. These are the upper and lower blood pressures. When the heart relaxes, the blood pressure of the left ventricle decreases to around 10, but because the aortic valve closes, it is calculated that blood pressure of the aorta is kept around 70. In this heart simulation, muscle fiber that decides the direction and strength of the contraction are represented by tetrahedrons. The actual heart is also composed of thin fibers of muscle tangled together. Now let's take a look at the cross section. The model is colored according to the direction of the muscle fiber. You can see that the fibers twist from the outside of the heart to the inside. This allows more blood to be pushed to the whole body by creating a twisting movement inwards when the heart contracts. If we color the muscle fiber according to the grade of its contraction, we can see that the grade varies depending on the location. Now let's zoom into the muscle fibers of the outside, middle and inside of the heart, slow it down and take a look. Muscle fibers have a structure known as the sarcomere and this creates contraction. The thin fiber is the actin filament. The thick fiber is the myosin filament. Myosin molecules protrude from the myosin filament. The myosin molecules stick to the actin filament and perform a power stroke to contract the sarcomere. This causes the whole heart to contract. This power stroke movement does not happen randomly, but has the quality of affecting surrounding myosin molecules to do the same. This quality, known as cooperativity, is important in understanding how the heart beats. This advanced heart simulation has already stepped outside of the research stage in areas such as surgery, where we can now predict the patient's outcome. Application of the technology in clinical practice is expected to bring a new paradigm to medicine.